In today's lesson, we are going to cover the final two steps of the engineering design process, which are testing and improving. But I've got some catching up to do. Now that I'm all caught up, it's time to move on to step five, which is testing. Please remember, do not do anything that is going to put your health in jeopardy. If you need help, please ask an adult. Now what I'm going to be doing is standing up on a chair and dropping this about six to eight feet from where I'm standing down to my desk to see if it survives the fall. That will be my test. Now let's see how things went. The first thing I noticed is that a couple pieces of the tape did come off, but my egg is still intact in the middle. But that's not really the question. It survived the fall from the looks of it, but did my egg crack? My egg did not crack. But what does that mean exactly? Now that I've tested it and my egg has survived the fall, Am I all done? Not technically. Now you go back and make improvements to your original design. Something I did notice is that when this hit the table, a couple of the pieces of tape came undone. Now that could have caused the egg to fly out if I did this out on concrete. So an improvement I would make would be to secure the balloons better together so that they didn't come apart when they hit the ground. Now your assignment for this lesson is to safely test your egg drop idea and to let me know how it went. Did your egg crack? Did your idea not work at all? Did it fall apart? What happened? Now the second part of your assignment is to think of some improvements to your design. What are some things you could do to make it better? To make it more secure? For me, I said I would secure the balloons because I noticed they fell apart when they hit the table. So that's something I would improve on. Now I'm not gonna ask you to actually build your improvements and to keep testing it over and over again. It's important to remember that actual engineers using the engineering design process repeat these final two steps hundreds of times because there's constantly improvements that can be made to ideas. Now once you all have completed those last two assignments, give yourself a huge round of applause because you have officially completed all six steps of the engineering design process. I hope you all enjoyed the project. Have a great day.